Did you know that nearly 20% of people born in an urban area never live outside of an urban area? 20% never gets to live in an area where they can walk through an open field by their house or smell the trees in the morning or simply sit by a creek between classes. With the decline of our natural environment, these people may never get that chance to feel the connection to the wilderness around us and understand that they should take care of the natural world. A lot of the natural formations on Earth are under human stress. Through deforestation, climate change, and pollution, 75% of the planet is under pressure caused by humans. Between 1993 and 2009, there was a 10% loss of the Earth's wilderness globally. Being out in nature and breathing in the fresh air is good for our human health. We are losing that opportunity. Many people today believe that nature is there for human taking, not for human health. There was once a time where everybody believed that nature was enchanted, that the fairy tales involving an enchanted forest were real because nature is beautiful and mysterious. Two philosophers named Adorno and Horkheimer spoke about how the disenchantment of nature led to the anthropogenic view and treatment of nature, but more importantly, that the modern world relies on the re-enchantment of nature because it makes us think about all that comes from nature and once again, connect emotionally to our natural world. Feeling a connection to nature and understanding the role nature plays in human development is a benefit to personal well-being and leads to a pro-environmental way of thinking and living because our emotions play a role in our moral judgment. Seeing the beauty of nature and understanding the role it plays in our physical and mental health will help people connect to the moral issue of destroying nature. Go into nature and experience the connection of feeling the mountain air in your chest, the mist from the sea on your face, and once again, feel that drive to care for nature.